92 Zoomobiles, True Alternative. That is Jade Bird recorded live at Hangout a couple of years ago when uh, she played Uh Huh for us. But today, she's right here, like three feet in front of me. <laughs> Jade, how are you? I'm great, yeah. I'm fresh off of, of my the new van drive. I can't even speak, I can't get my words out. That's probably why. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to Mobile, because last time you were here, you were at Hangout, which is... Yeah. Uh, like 30 miles away from or 40 miles yeah, away from yeah. where crow flies but this is your first time in mobile isn't it yeah i've been really getting into the spirit I've, i'm reading a book about uh, a snake handling preacher from this neck of the woods i'm you know i'm living the <laughs> it is not me it is not me <laughs> no he loves to handle snakes oh you being serious that no okay. no <laughs> i didn't know i'm from the uk so i didn't know you know <laughs> Well, we're going to talk about that in a couple of minutes. Plus, tonight, Jay Bird playing at Soul Kitchen. Showtime is at 8. Aaron Ray is opening up. Tickets are still available at soulkitchenmobile.com. Doors open at 7. We're actually going to give away another pair of tickets this afternoon. I can't wait. I'm so excited about this show. <laughs> and Jade is going to play something for us right now. What yeah. you got? I'm going to try my best through a, through a raspy head stomp. It's Jade Bird live in the Zoo Lounge of 92 Zoo. They say I drowned you different than I usually do They say that I've even given special treatment I deny you but I can't What you don't see to understand is I won't Just take your hand I've left songs but you take no notice so excited that you're here Me too. you know yeah. I, it's it first off it's a real concert mm -hmm. i mean the pandemic is starting you know things are getting us somewhat back to normal i know we've been back so i'm fully back now me too i got yeah. my rabies shot so oh I'm yeah good. yeah <laughs> <laughs> now you grew up in britain obviously yeah. people could tell by the accent mm -hmm. and uh but you moved around a lot i guess your dad was in uh, the military yeah my dad was in the military and then you know my parents divorced so i moved back to wales which is on the never reach really west coast of uh the uk yeah i've heard <laughs> I, of the prince yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so i moved to wales and then back to london when i really wanted to do music and pursue it as a living so yeah when did you know that you wanted to do music as a living yeah, probably about 12 I started because I'd always written, you know, songs or stories or that was always my vice, my outlet. Um, but when I was 12, I picked up the acoustic guitar and it became really apparent that there was something kind of magical I was feeling with it. And your grandmother had the guitar, is that true? Yeah, yeah. So my grandma had it and my mom's ex used to play it. So it was kind of this strange sort of 
I don't know, mixing of, I don't know, it's just a very strange time. And this kind of instrument just came into the middle of it and provided me like a bit of an outlet and a vice. So it's usually the way it goes. Well, when you sing and play guitar, I mean, you literally become one. It's, yes. it's one entity. It's not, oh, this is my guitar, this is me singing. It's mm -hmm. your one entity. Mm -hmm. And you have such a huge, huge voice. How long did it find, did you, did it take you to find that voice? Um, it's really hard to say. I think I found, because I used to write really sad songs. So I used to be like, you know, like, <laughs> you know, whispering. Um, yeah. um, and then, <laughs> I miss you. Um, <laughs> felt a bit sorry for myself. And then when I was about 16, I went to a blues bar. Um, and I was kind of playing bars before that, but not too many. And I realized if I wanted to be heard on a Friday or Saturday, I really had to kind of beef up and sing some, mm -hmm. you know, not beef up literally. I wasn't packing on the protein or anything, but I, I kind of realized I had to sing a bit more aggressively to get people's attention. And I think that's where it all started, just exploring that way of my voice. Mm, and songs like Lottery and Uh-huh mm -hmm. and Head Start and the, and the new one that opened up the heavens that we're yeah. playing. And now people can hear all of these songs tonight. Yeah. You're doing a solo acoustic show, so it's just you, guitar, the audience, and yeah, songs. Yeah, That's got to be really exciting. It's exciting. It's kind of nerve-wracking because I've not played in, you know, we've had a few gigs here and there, a few spots, but, you know, in a year, we've not really been doing the regular setup. But I'm super excited. You know, I'm mixing it up. I'm singing with Erin Ray, the support act tonight. I'm singing with Luke, my partner. You know, we do a lot 